So in this video, we are going to talk about typecasting in the C programming language. So what is typecasting? Well, typecasting is basically a process in which C or any other programming language changes the variable from one data type to another data type. This is called as data typecasting. So there are two main ways of a typecasting to be done. Either the compiler does it for you or either you do it explicitly. Based on that, there are two different types of typecasting available in the C programming language. We have the implicit typecasting and the explicit typecasting. So let's talk about the implicit typecasting. So the typecasting in which the compiler changes one form or one data type to another data type, it is known as the implicit typecasting. If you're performing a conversion on two or different type of variables, then the conversion of the lower type of variable is done into the higher data type. For example, if you're trying to compute an integer data type with a flow data type, then the resultant would be the float data type. The integer data type would be converted to float and then the computation would be with float data variable and with another float variable. So let's look at an example of implicit typecasting. So here we have a very simple program and in this program we are simply creating a character variable x and we are giving it a value of capital S and then we are creating an integer variable and we are calling it num. And then what we are doing is that we are assigning the integer variable a value of the character data type. So what would happen if we print out the value inside the num variable? So let's look at the result. As you can see that we got the value 83. What is this? Basically what happened was that character capital S was converted into its integer equivalent and that was stored inside the variable num and that got printed onto the screen. So that is how we can use implicit typecasting. So now let's talk about the explicit typecasting. Well, in case of explicit typecasting, the programmer needs to force the conversion. Sometimes you are working with self-made or user-made data type in which the compiler does not know which one is the higher form and which one is the lower form and it cannot convert the values from one data type to another data type. In that case, you have to explicitly typecast the variables. So let's simply take an example to demonstrate the explicit typecasting. So as you can see, we have a very simple program in which we have created two integer variables. One is total with the value 67 and the other is values with the number 5. And then we are creating a double variable with the name average. So what we are doing is that we are dividing total with values and then we are storing it inside the double variable. Now the result of this statement is an integer variable. So before storing it inside a double variable, we want to explicitly convert it into a double variable. So that is why we are using this pair of parentheses and inside it we are simply storing the data type in which we want to convert this whole equation to. So if I run this code, I would get on my screen a value of double data type. So there you go. The value that I got on my screen was 13.4 and a bunch of zeros, which shows that this is a double data type. So that was typecasting in the C programming language. 